the phrase respect all bills? Um, hmm. <laughs> you're asking some very controversial questions <laughs> from me specifically. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, I don't wear no slides, we got no slack sins. Cardi in on that bitch, you ain't on no black sins. What's good y'all today 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 we back here with another banger video and today as y'all can hear all right we have another special guest coming with another car review and first and foremost let me just go ahead and say he has a very special car all right and the color on this car is very exquisite well, that's what it just seems to me all right but like i said i don't want to talk too much because i know y'all be ready to see the cars all right but all right but let me go ahead and say this thank y'all so much for 1.3 q 1.3 k views in a day all right on my uh here uh the custom 86 video thank y'all so much on that 147 views on a on a uh, mustang with the big spoiler hooding hood exit y'all make sure y'all go check out both of those videos all right so with that being said let's go ahead and meet my guy over here and as y'all can see, get you on no flat scene. Alright, what's good, man? How you doing? Alright, so look. Basically, look, I'm gonna just let you know. Alright, take you a couple miles down the road. Ask me a few questions. Alright, you already know to do like, comment, subscribe. Alright, let's get right into it. horsepower are you pushing? Uh, last time I got dyno, I was at 327 to the wheels. Uh -huh. um, I switched a few things up uh, since then, so I'm not totally sure where I'm at. Uh, I'd say 329 probably. 327 to 329. Yeah. Okay. What, what kind of coils are you on? Uh, BCs for right now. I'm about to, about to put some ghetto coils on uh, next weekend so I can go, uh, go a little bit lower. Go a little bit lower? Yeah, but I'm on BCs they getting a the job done on it at least? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, from what I want, I don't think I have the right setup. Yeah. Um, but what I initially got them for, they were they were great, which was trying to you know build for track. Yeah. Um, they were pretty good. Uh, we used to do uh, we used to do loops around like 285 uh, circle. Yeah. Uh, around Atlanta and stuff like that, and I never had an issue out of them uh, during that time. I always felt like I was pretty pretty locked in. Yeah. But now that I'm like going lower and lower and lower and stuff like I have to keep bumping my spring weights up and stuff and uh, adjusting my damper. Yeah. 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 It could be better. I should probably just be back really. Yeah. I mean that's what I was going to ask you. So have you thought about the bagged option? Yeah. I have thought about it a lot. Uh, I've also thought about how much it's about to cost. Exactly. <laughs> they, they're pretty penny for bags. But I mean shoot. I mean it'll be. It's a good. You know. Like I said. I feel like once you do. You know. Go ahead and commit to it. I feel like it's a good. It's a good. You know, yeah, that's good yeah. investment for real. Yeah, and it will be. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back my car. Okay, with you being the first 370 on the channel, K 
can you explain to me and for the people that don't know what does the what does the definition of what is the definition of VQ? Uh, it's it's like the uh, the motor like the motor for the platform. Uh -huh. You got like VQ like DE HR VHR and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, that that's really all. It's just yeah, because I, I know I've heard people, you know, the Infinities, VQs, and 370s, and three are the 350s included in VQs as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so, so some of the later model uh, 350Zs have like uh, HRs in them, like mm -hmm. pretty pretty similar to these motors right here. Please let that not be coming up from directly behind us. Um, but, oh, that's right, bro. Okay. Uh, and the older ones have the VQ DVs. Okay. Um, so yeah. 350s, 370s, uh, G35, G37s, and stuff like that. They all kind of have like a uh, similar platforms, okay. similar motors. All right, and I see you got your your own brand. Is or is this is this your brand, Gentleman Z? No, Gentleman Z is a, a nationwide team I'm a part of. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I'm a member of the Georgia chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a uh, there's guys like all the way out like Marietta all these other parts of Atlanta and stuff like that that are part of Gentleman's in uh, Georgia. Yeah. But there's multiple chapters throughout like the United States. Um, we're just, I don't know, I ain't gonna say we're the most active, but yeah. we, we definitely get the pocket down here for sure. Okay, okay. Bitch, I don't no slimes, we got no slats in. Cardi on that bitch, you ain't on no flats in. Please make sure y'all go give him a follow. A follow at ramenrunners.us. That's right. Yes, sir. All right, y'all make sure y'all go give him a follow. All right. Now, what is that? That's a tune or like? Yeah. It's oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. We're sitting it. There we go. So you gonna control your tune from inside the car? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do a little something, something real quick. Gotcha. See. Oh, so you got the camera in the back. Sell this and try to import one. Uh, 
I'll give it another two, maybe two and a half years. So it'll be bagged, carbon, a whole bunch of craziness. I'll probably be able to repaint it by then. Okay. It should be ready, ready to fetch about a good 20, maybe 25K, hopefully. It's yeah. a garage queen, man. I, I'm about 15 miles away from hitting 80K right now. Only 80,000 miles on it? Hey, so hey, look, if y'all interested, all right, hit them up, ramenrunners.us. If there was one car that you could kick out of the car community, what would it be? Oh, uh, Priuses. Man. Well, well, the Prius? Yeah, Priuses. So you you see a lot of them, because I'm not going to lie. A lot, of, a lot of VQs and yeah, there's a lot of the VQs in general. I've been getting a lot of hate from yeah. other, other. You know, if I ask, if I ask them, you know, hey yo, you know, what if there was one car on oh, VQs, 370Zs, G35, G37, they always say just about the same thing. So, but you said Prius. Yeah, Prius is man. Which I is mean, crazy because I, I haven't, I have I have yet this. I haven't seen it, like many at all. So I think it's more so about like how they maneuver. Like the drivers themselves, man. I don't know what it is about Priuses, but the drivers they attract just the worst. But yeah, I guess I'm pretty sure. What's one thing that you love and you hate about the car community? Uh, what I love about the car community is that you can literally meet somebody and have a full hour-long conversation with them yeah. and not ever ask for their name. Exactly. You just know them, know their car, know their great guy because of kind of the kind of way they build their car and the passion right. that they have for it. Right. What I hate about it is that um, it's, this is going to sound super bad. It's too accessible now. It's, yeah. not, it's not a niche hobby anymore. Same. I skateboarded uh, for about 13 years. Mm -hmm. I kind of still, you know, dabble yeah. here and there. Um, and you kind of watch things that are like these niche little communities yeah. get blown up because of social media, and everybody becomes like interesting, which, mm -hmm. is, which is good. It's healthy. Right. There's a lot of money into it. Right. But at the same time, if you're not doing it correctly, yeah. If you're, there's, it, it, it becomes interesting to people who don't have the best intentions for those communities right. and stuff like that, which is why you see like such. Rise and take over culture and stuff because it's like those people just aren't people, cars, yeah. People are just trying to get cars, the, they get the you know, the Camaros, the Mustangs, mm -hmm. the Hellcats, the SRTs, or whatever you want to. They get them because they just want to slide, exactly. They're, or they'll you know, the uh, the charge, uh, the Chrysler, you know, the Chrysler Hellcat swaps or whatever. Mm -hmm. They'll they'll get them just because they want to slide, you know. Yeah, that's and, really what it is. It's like, um, these aren't actual car enthusiasts, they're just people that have cars, yeah. And they want to do dumb things. Uh, they, they, they want to include themselves in things that they're not actually partaking in the right way. Um, not to say you know there's like some yeah. guy it to gatekeep or anything like that, but it's like if you go to a run and runners meet, you'll have like onesies, twosies here and there trying to pop off and make things like right. make things into a takeover or make right. things into something that it's not supposed to be. But most of the time, people are like really genuinely just enjoying being there, um, looking at the bills, like variety. Of That's the kind of culture we want to foster, and that's what car culture looks like to us. What I hate about car culture now is that it's, it's become such a uh, it's become such a trend. Yeah. That like anybody can just get something that has rear wheel drive in. Right, and, and just slide it. Yeah, and just slide it. It's all it about it's all about quality over quantity at the end of the day. I agree. Yeah, so I definitely feel that. If a nigga try me up, you know we blast in. Yeah, walk in, start taxing. Damn, I hope no niggas brought no gas in. Damn, I hope no niggas. Um, I think my uh, my final question to you would be, how do you feel about the phrase "respect all bills"? Um, hmm. <laughs> 
You guys are some very controversial <laughs> for me specifically. Yeah, yeah. You guys, I have a lot of strong. Cause yeah, you you had gave me your two cents when we had first met yeah. at that meet. But like I said, just for the, you know for everybody else in here, like what do you like? I I am not I'm not a supporter of the the respect all builds mentality. Yeah. Cause some builds haven't had anything done to it. Like right. What what do you, what are you considering a build? Right. And and what what is your ability to lean into it and put your passion into your project? You know? Exactly. Um, I I respect passion. If you don't have any passion in your project, then there's no reason for me to respect it. Right. Like, it's just another car. Right. Now, if you, all you can afford is like, hey, all I can afford was some $200 coilovers and some, like, dock bills from another car. Right. But my Fitman's on point, I did the research, you know what I'm saying? Right. I know what, I know you know what's what you're doing on. as far as, yeah, the mechanics. But right. those cars also look like you know what you're doing right. at that point. Good fitment isn't easy to get. You got you have to do the research. You can't just get any car and put some spaces on and just wing it. Yeah. So like I respect that. Alright. Your build doesn't have to be expensive or some elite kind of thing for me to respect it. I see clap builds all the time. I'm like, yo, this is sick. <laughs> but yeah. it, it will be clap. Yeah. yeah. It'll be unpainted, mismatched panels, all right. fitment be on point. They got good wheels that are like period correct or something like right. that, or just get a little bit on the car. You don't have to be rich to have a good build. Exactly. Good respectable. But you do need to know what you're doing. You do need to have that passion. And I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people want respect for bills that they don't respect themselves. Yeah. So then. Uh, That's yeah. Yeah, I'm very. Summed up. Summed up. I I I, yeah. I get what you're saying, but. Yeah, I'm very like, like very I, black and white on the respect. Right. I, I feel that. I feel it. Like I said, I want to thank you so much for your time. All right, coming out today and you know giving us. You you had a, a great video. You're gonna have a great video. Wow, so y'all please make sure y'all blow this up. Alright, thank you. Uh you should shout out your Instagram. Oh yeah, I'm uh John aka uh, Shinobi dot Z34 on Instagram. Uh you may have seen me, you maybe didn't. Right. But uh well, if you do come across me in your algorithm, man, go ahead and hit me with a follow and try and get the 2K man. Alright, alright. So hey, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you did, make it down to the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.